Welcome to the Rebel to Succeed podcast. It's your boy, Inc. Anthony Williams, the founder of RebelToSucceed.com. The purpose of this podcast is to share tips, advice, and strategies to help you improve in all areas of your life. My mission is to make a positive difference in your life to help you live your best life. Now let's get it. What up, good people? It's your boy, Ann from Rebel to Succeed, coming at y'all with another um, podcast episode. And in this podcast episode, we're going to be talking about five ways to improve your sleep. Again, that's five ways to improve your sleep. Um, right off the bat, uh, sleep is one of the most important things in our lives when it comes to our health. It is as important as a healthy diet or workout. Poor sleep habits impose negative effects on health. People lose their stamina and power to compete with the daily challenges of life. You cannot stable your performance and brain activity. Um, and it's, it, it, it is just ruining your productivity, man. Um, also, it can also make you take some extra fats and increases cardio health issues. So better quality and quantity of sleep are required to, for proper functioning. Most people face the issue of sleep decline. Um, and it, it's just... Sleeping, it helps your body to recover, man. So I, I want to give you guys five tips on how to improve your sleep so that you can get um, you can get optimal sleep to be able to perform at your highest level. So right off the bat, uh, sleep. Uh, one, one way to improve your sleep is to um, to reduce the uh, light exposure at night. Um, it's, it's probably best that you. you I don't, I'm not sure if most people sleep with their TVs and stuff on. Um, but it's it's kind of it's, it's better. You can get better quality sleep. You can get into more of a deep sleep if you it, you know lower the light exposure because light it it makes your brain think that it's time to wake up. So dark tells your brain that it's time to go to sleep. So when you I, I know that in the dark, um, your brain produces more melatonin, which helps us sleep better. So um, I would you know at a certain right like maybe like an hour or two before your bedtime. I would lower the light exposure. I would start turning off lights. I would, you know, just just make it like really like dim. You know what I mean? So that your brain can get ready and prepare to get ready to go to sleep. Uh, second thing, as far as for improving your sleep, um, I'm not sure about other people, but me personally, man, when I have caffeine in my system, um, like when it's too close to bedtime, I'm up. So I would encourage you guys to um, reduce your caffeine um, consumption. Maybe like. Uh, I want to say like at least like six hours, five or six hours before it's time to go to bed because you don't want to have a high level of caffeine in your system. Caffeine makes your brain think that it's time to perform. You know what I mean? It wakes your brain up. It's to wake you up. So um, you don't want to be woken up when it's time to go to sleep. You don't want to feel like it's time to um, go make some stuff happen when it's time to get some sleep. So reduce your get caffeine consumption at night. Also, I would... Uh, the third thing to improve your sleep is to make a proper uh, schedule. You know what I mean. So, just go to bed at just go to bed at a regular time. You know what I mean. Um, that's going to train your body to um, you just like you basically like getting your body on a on a sleeping clock. You know what I mean. So you, your body knows that all oh, around this time it's time to go to sleep. And then also, I believe uh, if you wake up at if you go to sleep at the same time and you wake up at the same time, you're kind of like. Um, you're, 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 you're focusing on, um, or you're not, not really focusing, but you're training your body to, 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 to rest at a certain time. So it's going to be easier for you to get to sleep and to wake up and to make things happen. If you do everything, if you have a set routine for your bedtime and your wake up time. And, um, then another thing is to, um, you know, to, uh, to, to set like bedroom surroundings, um, make sure that, uh, you know, I don't know if um, you guys have like if you're if you're into like you know colors, but there's certain like colors that are that are, um, make you uh, you know like more relaxed. Um, dim the lights. That's another thing that I was saying. Dim the lights. Um, just just set your, your your bedroom to make it feel like it's time to go to sleep. So, so when you dim the lights and you you know you get in your pajamas and all of that type of stuff, close the blinds, close. Uh, Close the, you know, close the, uh, the, the curtains or whatever. Get your bed ready. 
um, get your room ready for bedtime. That's going to also help prepare your mind to go to sleep and help you sleep better. You know what I mean? Also, like, you know, have like soft pillows and stuff. Make your bed comfy. You know what I mean? You don't want to have a <laughs> a rough bed when it's time to go to sleep. You know what I mean? It's going to be hard to get some quality sleep in. And the last thing I would do, man, is um, I, I'm, I'm a victim of this, but I like to sometimes I like to eat like heavy, like late at night. I'm, I'm really like a night person. But if you want to get like optimal sleep, man, I would encourage you to to eat dinner early, man. Don't eat too close to bedtime. Eat eat dinner when it's early. Eat dinner. Um, I, I, I would say like the best optimal time to eat dinner is probably around like six o'clock, five or six. You know what I mean? Um, so that, you know, you give your body enough time to burn off that large meal because you don't want to have all of this energy when it's time. Again, you don't want to have a lot of energy when it's time to go to sleep. You know what I mean? So um, make sure you're eating dinner early, man, and don't eat anything too heavy at night to 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 let you, to make your body have to, you know, digest or to digest a lot when it's time to go to sleep. Your, your body should be recovering from the stress that you put on your body throughout the day. You know what I mean? So... Uh, make sure you're not eating too heavy uh, late at night. Um, and yeah, man, I'm just coming with a quick episode for you guys on how to improve your sleep. Um, because I know, that, you know, some people may be struggling with sleep issues, man. Some people got insomnia. Some people can't get to sleep. You know what I mean? Um, I would also, uh, what I like to do is, um, I'm a big fan of cold showers. I think I mentioned this in my last episode, but um, cold showers to me is kind of like my routine. You know, I'll take a cold shower at night. Um, and then it kind of like, it reduces your body temperature, it gets the blood flowing and it relaxes me. So, um, I, I, I really use uh, cold showers for a lot. I use cold showers to wake me up and to, and to, um, relax me. So, um, cold water therapy, cold showers is another thing you can use to help improve your sleep as well. Yeah, it's your boy. And I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick, um, some quick tips on how to improve your sleep. And, um, yeah, um, I'll see you in the next episode. I want to thank you for joining me today and listening to this podcast. If you found this episode helpful or valuable in any way, then I encourage you to leave an honest review and subscribe to the Rebel to Succeed podcast for future episodes. To receive more content and value, make sure to visit the Rebel to Succeed website at www.rebeltosucceed.com. And finally, always remember that to succeed in life, you have to reach everyone by exercising love. So make sure to show somebody some love today. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you next time.